Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy here and to another open with me. And let's get this open while you're waiting for me to get this open. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button or the notification bell and you'll be informed hopefully when new videos pop up. So that's got rid of the outer page. So let's see what we've got. We have the latest crochet now and there's a couple of free gifts. We've got an Amigurumi book worth $14.99 apparently. And we've got this one, which is the Hook Nook. And I think that's, I'll say that's all, it's quite a lot, but let's have a look and get the magazines out. So, <laughs> easier said than done. So bear with me a sec while I struggle. I'm just gonna put it on pause for one moment. Well, I'm glad I paused that. That was really hard. They use some pretty strong polythene, you know. I wish I knew where they get that. I'd send my um, my orders out in it for Hobby Rock's um, website. Anyway, this is the Hook Nook. Nine stylish designs exclusive to Crochet Now. And then we have Trendy Accessories. Discover New Skills. Joyful Blankets. There are four of them. Adorable Amigurumis. Win Prizes. For every reader, win Knit Pro Symphony hooks, new from Toft and more. Uh, cute kids jumper, 46 patterns for summer. And we got some Care Bears. Wow, my boys loved, well, Paul especially loved his Care Bear. And we've got Amigurumi pattern book, 13 patterns to try. Amigurumi step by steps and behind the scenes with the designers. This is called Zodiac. So they are... Um, zodiac characters which there are 12 of so we've got an extra one i wonder if it's the sheep anyway let's have a go at the magazine first and we'll come to those afterwards okay so we get in the usual hello page and then the what's inside so we've got a bag which is pretty plain and looks very simple oh this is well cute look at that I can't identify it. I want to say it is a hedgehog, but you never know. Um, and we've got this kind of zigzag uh, pullover. It's not bad. I quite like it, but I don't like the wide sleeves. They should be tapered to me, even if the pattern stops up here. Or you just do three quarter length sleeves. That would be fine for me. A wall hanging. We've got um, a big blanket for the bed and this thingy. Um, for want of a better word. Okay, so first page we've come to. Um, we've got a few little editorial pieces and new shades of yarn for cascade yarns. Never heard of those. And we've got a book, Quick Crochet Kitchen and Home. Um, what does it tell you how much it is? It's reviewing it. Quick crochet for kitchen and home, but there's no price there, which is a bit unusual. They usually tell you how much these books are. Show us your makes. There's always a reader's show me what you've done page. Um, we've got this card uh, jumper with a kind of a plaited look cabled sleeve. Um, a lot of mushrooms, which my grandsons would love because they're very into Mario. And we have... I think it's an elephant. <laughs> I told you I'm very bad at identifying amigurumis. Don't know, possibly dinosaurs. And um, another one. <laughs> He's an armadillo. There you go. I, I've not been on personal terms with many armadillos in my life. So I can be forgiven for not identifying that straight away as an armadillo. But he's Arlo the armadillo. He's well cute. And he's made by Victoria Caris. Little armoured one who loves to roll around in the desert and make lots of naps. He'd certainly do well here at the moment. It's like a desert. So there's how to make him on a couple of pages. Advert for Bernat. Now this is the Sagu oh, Saguaro. Saguaro lap blanket. It's got... Um, cactuses on it <laughs> i'll just call it a cactus blanket but um i think they they name these things to torture me I'm, i've come to that conclusion this is by rosina plain 
Lo yeah, Rosina Plain. And you can put fringing on it if you want, apparently, or not. And there is also a chart for the cactus. And we've got an advert. Perky Palm Spears. So you know when you get these nice kind of um, fronds, I like to call them, in... <laughs> You know, people always just put pampas grass in a big kind of urn, that sort of thing. It kind of reminds me of it on a much smaller scale. So that shows you how to make all of those. Now, this is the Southwestern Shawl. And it looks like a scarf to me, but um, it's a wrap. I don't know how deep it is because it's kind of impossible to see where they've got it all kind of scrunched up like that, I guess. But it's Jordan... Slemp English. Okay, she's the designer of that one. And there is a chart for the kind of Aztec-y tie design, design. Winter Warcraft bundle. And hooks here. Um, and we've got the Care Bear collection. These are super cute, aren't they just? So we've got... Now, I'm not going to pretend to remember... Um, we had the pink bear. It was given to us by a niece of mine. And so uh, my eldest son, Paul, loved it a lot. And uh, I think then Mike came along and he really liked it too. So uh, it was very well loved Care Bear. And this is by Heather C. Gibbs. And we've got, don't tell you their names. Because they used to have names, didn't they? Like Love A Lot Bear and all of that kind of thing. But... Uh, oh, yeah, there huh? we go. We've got Tender Heart Bear, Bedtime Bear, Funshine Bear and Good Luck Bear. That's who we're making in this magazine. So if you're really into the Care Bears, this is the one for you. So if you subscribe to Crochet Now, you get a free Knit Pro Ball Winder. Well, that's worth it, isn't it? A free Knit Pro Ball Winder. For those who love to knit, well, those who love to crochet as well, I think that's a bit biased, don't you? Especially if you're in a crochet magazine. So if you subscribe today, it's worth £30. Um, I don't know how big it is, whether it's a 100 gram or more or less, you know. By the, some of them have um, only, f you can only do really a 50 gram ball before it starts to slip. And some you can do 100 gram and some you can actually get bigger but um i don't know it doesn't say but there is a code if you want to subscribe there's all the details if that's really something you fancy getting so it will save you money on every issue free delivery to your door never miss an issue and i can assure you you do get the uh the, the uh, free gifts be the first to read treats worth over seven pound with every issue step-by-step -step guides in every issue the best tutorials and projects from industry experts. They're never me though, are they? So I'm biased. Build your own crochet knowledge and never be short of crochet inspiration again and spread the cost with direct debits or credit card. So that's all the info on that. Now this is the Afternoon Dreams Kids Jumper and it is quite nice. It has a knitted look to it, don't you think? Especially with this going up here that's quite nice I like that now this goes from two years to 11 to 12 years so two years is just a one age but when you get to the big one they get a little bit more broad and say 11 to 12 but that's actually quite a good range to go isn't it and there's all the funny enough even though there's lots of um age range it's only on a page so it must be quite not simple but not too bad to do. So this is Crochet Happy with Lyka, Lick, Lick, oh, how do you pronounce L-Y-K-K-E? I would say Lick because <laughs> if you have two Ks, surely it makes the I sound I, unless it is foreign word, and then I have no idea. So I find it really embarrassing when they make these, why don't they just call it Fred something, you know? Anywho, it's, it's in a case. It's quite pretty. Not come across those before. A new on me. Piece of cake crochet along. This is quite apt for me today, the piece of cake, because today is Crochet Rock's birthday. Now, I'm filming this on the um, 21st, 
So it might not go out to you until the 22nd. So that would be then yesterday. But this piece of cake um, crochet along could be the only cake that I'm allowed, unfortunately. So there's all the info on how to do that. You don't have to choose these colours. You can choose your own should you wish to do it. Get your yarn here, but I'd rather you got it from me. So let's just not go into that. So here we go, the Dune Jumper. I quite like this jumper, as I say, but if I did do it, I would make it as a three-quarter length. And I'd certainly make this part here longer to cover my tummy. Because, you know, I'm not that happy about my tummy. Okay, so this one, although that's very pretty, it is um, an advert. Kerry's Journal. So we do have an, a, tu oh, a tutorial. What's the word I'm looking for? A pattern for this. Now this is from Toft. Dive into the desert with this adorable cuddly friend from Toft. So it just says friend. Again, I have no idea what that is. Um, it's just a crochet friend. I'm really used to it. It looks like a rabbit, but I know it's not going to be a rabbit. Oh, hang on. It's a Jaboa. What on earth is a Jaboa? <clears throat> okay, Oasis Spring Bag. Now, this is one of those bags where you get a, a long handle and a short handle and you put the long handle through the short handle and it closes it. It's kind of an ingenious little way of shutting a bag, really, and having one handle. But if you don't really want to carry your, your bag like that, it's a bit annoying, but, you know, looks quite simple to do, I think. It's quite plain. It's going to be a while... Um, that it works up, I guess, but looks nice. This is oh, Mbali the meerkat. Not Papa Alexander, as we've all seemed to have gone off the Russians. This is Mbali, who loves to play and hide and seek in the desert with friends and enjoys the summer sun by Heather C. Gibbs, the girl who did the Care Bears. I'm going to remember her from now on. Well, for today anyway. Can't guarantee I remember much ongoing but there you go this is the land of enchantment blanket so it's quite as techy in design i feel because of these these colors so if you wanted to inject more color in it it would have that feel wouldn't it i don't know if you're going to get the a tutorial for this as well or if it's just a printed kind of pillowcase we'll have a look in a sec so right, okay we don't need that did I tell you it was? This is Susan Kennedy. You want to see her? There she is. Susan Kennedy's design. And no, no, no pillowcase, I don't think. Can't see anything to do with the pillow. In fact, there's not an awful lot <clears throat> of um, instructions. So it must be nice and simple because um, it does seem to be just row after row of UK trebles or US doubles, but with um, a pattern thrown in, like a colour pattern but no pillowcase now. This is another bag, Sunset Vibes Tote. So we've got a sun with all the spiky bits coming out. It's unusual. Okay, so that looks quite easy to make as well. And this is by Norian Nizami. Nizami. Norian Nizami. Okay, and there's charts as well if you want to do that um, for anything else. Crayon Falls scarf crayon falls okay um expand your skills and learn a new technique i guess it's because you've got like a um maybe a crochet two together sorry i was getting attacked by a fly there so i had to get rid of it your community as well so bits and bobs about different places and shops etc of the month this is uh, send off for a free gift i never do but i always should i guess the desert archway wall hanging i like cactuses i'm not keen on wall hangings but you know if you like them that's not a bad one is it i like that i kind of like it i like it in a way that i don't have to like it to do it so with the book club we've got an amigurumi Hello, Amigurumi, happy childhood days, 14.99 from Tuva Publishing. So you've got quite a lot in this one. The rest of things on that page just adds. Emily the Gardener, now she's quite sweet. 
I like a little hat. I must admit, and a little boots and a watering can. <laughs> oh, I quite like that. That's nice. So she's on a couple of pages. And then we've got Bella Coco's Crochet Chronicle. Oh, do you know I'm going to get this totally wrong one day? Bella Coco's Crochet Chronicles. Why do they do this to me? This is the Summer Desert Coaster. I always want to say dessert, but no, it is a desert, I think. And this one is a bit kind of just a rectangle with fringe in. But if you love her, no doubt you want to make it. Pebble Top. Well, that reminds me of vision net curtains that were around when I was a child. I think I've said this before when people do this. But um, it's not a bad design, um, in the pattern, but I don't like the sleeves. Too, too just wide and, and left. I think we need a bit of shaping in that one. Oh, well, let's see. Who was this? Is it going to tell me? Uh, oh, the Rowan design team. Well, the amount of money that Rowan costs, you think they'd come up with a bit of shaping, wouldn't you? So I think we're at an end, roughly, to this one. All you're going to get now is... Oh, Kissed by a Rainbow Blanket. No, we've got this. That's quite different, isn't it? A row of colour leading to pom-poms on either side. That's quite sweet. I like that. Be a devil to wash, though, wouldn't it, with all those pom-poms? I'm not sure. I've never really washed pom-poms. I'm not one to put them on... My hats and stuff like that. Now this, the Wilderness Wrap. Um, it's by Victoria Barrett. And I'm trying to be kind, but I don't like it at all. I, I really don't like the way it's ended. It looks as if it really is going up and down and, and not at all um, finished in a way, you know. Do you know what I mean? I haven't blocked it and it does need it I feel um plus I don't really like it tied up with a cord um not really my cup of tea but it is a wrap because if you look at the back there's a lot of it so it kind of has a big old back and then you get these two things that go over this over the front now interestingly the back hangs better but whether it does or if it's just because it's darker I don't know so it might actually be a lot better in different colours. So there we go, it goes up to a 5XL from an extra small. So if you like that, uh -huh. so we've got an advert for Rowan and then we've got the standard abbreviations and terms and stuff. Um, in the next issue, Crochet Now Pick and Mix. Oh, so we've got this kind of jazzy free gift, which, um, actually appeared in one of the Bella Coco book, uh, boxes, apart from, um, well, I don't know if I, I got the safety pin, I think, from somewhere else, but they are kind of similar. Magic Roundabout Amigurumi. I used to love that when I was a child. Florence, Dougal and the like. And I think these are a new one on me as well, these little curlies. I've seen them, obviously, but I've not got any before. So we've got a stick of rock bolster, which is pretty cool um amigurumi gingerbread house and gingerbread men and we've got fun clothing and cheerful blankets coming up so that's it um that's the magazine but we that's not all she wrote i've actually got some of this yarn i put some in my uh, mystery boxes uh, over on um, Hobby Rocks which is www.hobbyrocks.co.uk I do mystery boxes and um, this particular one the stone washed um, mine was cotton but it I did put some of that in my mystery boxes so um, everybody loves a mystery box let's have a look at this first which is the hook nook I've seen one of these before but it wasn't from crochet now it was from Hobbycraft, I think it was one to purchase. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think it was because it had it was a bag special. So we've got a hat and scarf, we've got a cardigan, we've got a cowl, and we've got this. I don't know what to call that. It's not a waistcoat exactly. We've got that. Um, so that's a big hat, isn't it? It looks like it. Is it a hat? Yes, it is. It's a slouchy beanie. Okay, let's have a look inside. It's probably better 
pictures will do it more justice. That's just a hello. So this is the slouchy beanie, beanie and cowl. And it's quite nice. It's made with a kind of puff stitch. I like that. Although I'm not sure I'd wear a hat that was all roughly like that. I'm not sure hats suit me at the best of times, to be honest with you. My latest hat tutorial is the only one for a long time that has actually suited me. The only other hat that ever suited me was one of Gary's. And so uh, I, don't know, I used to steal it occasionally. So this is a summer cardigan, they've called this. Okay, and uh, beginner friendly. Let's have a look. Didn't say whether that one was uh, beginner friendly. I can't see this one saying that anywhere. No, I don't know. Not very consistent, never mind. Okay, so there's the back view. It's quite nice, actually. And here we've got this one is the Hooded Bliss Blanket. Chilly night, snuggle up with a cup of tea and a good book in this gorgeous hooded blanket. Oh, I see, that is a hood. Uh-huh, I think I'd like that to have the same stripe in myself. Um, it doesn't, again, say... I can't see where it says whether you it's easy or not. It doesn't look hard, does it? The actual techniques involved. And there it is again. So you can see the hood here, but I think, I, as I say, I would prefer to see that either this darker colour or um, with some striping in it. And this one is a brim beanie. So it's a turn up beanie, I like to call them. But it has a brim. Okay, and I think that one's made in a similar way to how I made my child's beanie. I'm not sure, unless I read the whole thing. And this one is the Evangeline cardigan. A trendy cardigan, joy to make, and can be worn all year long. So, do you like the Evangeline? And there's all the instructions and stuff for that one. What's the last one? The Isabel scarf. So there's the pattern up close. And here, look, you've got some detailing. Well, there is another one. It's a table runner, but it does remind me of Vision Net Curtain. <laughs> Back in the 70s, they were all the rage and they had outrageous colours. Bright orange and bright, vivid, fluorescent green, fluorescent orange. And people actually put them up their windows, guys. They really did. My mum had some. It was very, very trendy, my mother, but, you know, I was glad when those things weren't fashionable anymore. Anyway, this one's nice. The Maribel cowl. I like that one. It's actually quite pretty. I like it. Okay, so that is the hook nook. Now we've got another little gift, which is this Amigurumi pattern book, which was meant to be worth fourteen ninety nine. So let's just see if it is. So... I'm getting really hot now, so I might have to break off in a second and have a bit of a, a mop down. It's getting really warm again. So inside this, we've got Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and... Oph oh, <laughs> done it to me again. Ophiuchus? What on earth is Ophiuchus? I don't know that one. Is there a new one that I know nothing about? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I don't keep up on stars. So what, you'll have to educate me on this one, guys. What is Ophiuchus? Oh, 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 you can tell me how to pronounce it as well. So here we go. Beardy and Blondie. These are the designers. Beardy and Blondie. who made all of these. So let's have a little look up close. Oh, wow. Libra's cute. I like Libra. And this is Scorpio. They are really good. Of course, you know, you could make them and they wouldn't necessarily be um, screaming at you that it was a birth thing, would they? I mean, it's not scales, is it? And um, I don't, it's not a scorpion. Well, I guess it's got, it might be. It's got scorpion kind of pincers. Sagittarius and Capricorn. Now that's thrown me because Capricorn looks like it should be Aquarius. It's only got sort of, gnarly spikes but i would have thought that was aquarius being a water sign water carrier anyway sagittarius i've no idea it's a 
Sagittarius. Isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember what um, the actual thing for that is. If it was a goat. What do I know? Aquarius, a water carrier. So she's got a little urn. But I think you a mermaid would have been better. Pisces. Oh, we've got another mermaid. Let's have a look at the difference. Oh, yeah. So I guess if you wanted to, you could make one of those for Aquarius and give it an urn. Okay, so that's Pisces. And Aries is cute. Look at that. And so is Taurus. Look at... Oh, it's so sweet. I really like that. And we've got Gemini. Got a little fishy. And Cancer the Crab. What's this one? Leo, of course. How could you even doubt? Leo and Virgo. Looks like, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know what that is. And this is... Ophiacus, who whatever it is, um, whenever he represents. But there you go. Maybe he's the daddy of them all. I have no idea what he is. So then we've got all of the how-tos and everything else. But they are well cute, I have to say. So let's get to the end of those because you've seen them up close. Mind you, having said that, we will have a look at them because they show the rears. Look. That is quite sweet, isn't it? I like that one. And the, oh, look, his tail. I'm glad I did come back now. So, um, it might tell me what the other guy is. So this is the Sagittarius. Um, it's a centaur. He's a centaur. He <laughs> doesn't look like a centaur. But this is the Capricorn. Capricorn... So what does it say? It doesn't tell you what's, what Capricorn is. Nope, it doesn't. But anyway, here he is. He's cute. This is the Aquarius. The Aquarius is a bit let me down a bit, you know. I was expecting something like the uh, mermaid or something, but it's just a little fat person. And it's just <laughs> kind of like, I think, typical, isn't it really? That my birth sign is a little fat person with dreads. Well, they look like dreads. Okay, so this is the back view of Pisces. Um, <laughs> I feel short changed now, I really do. Anyway, this is Aries. Aries is super cute. And there's the back of the little tail. It's so cute. Okay, so this is Taurus. Now, I don't think you're going to see Taurus rear view, but you might because it might just be that on the next page is the last bit. No. No rear view. And this is the Gemini. I can't identify the creatures. I'm, you know, I'm not very good at it, I'm afraid. Not sort of, some are obvious, but not many. And this one is the Cancer Crab. I only know that because Cancer's a crab and it's got pinchers on its top bit. Leo, obviously, and there he is at the back with his little tail, the ball on the end. And we've got Virgo. Virgo, there he is. She is. Got little, little pink love hearts around the hat, so I think it's a girl. Okay. Poor Orphia. Or Orphicus. He's caused a lot of debate in the astrology sphere this year, but we couldn't resist giving him his moment in this adorable collection. Oh, well, that didn't tell me why. All right, he's caused a lot of debate, but I don't know what he is. Okay. There we go. It's a little bit at the bottom here. Look. Ophicus. November to December. You may not identify with Ophicus if your birthday lies within these dates. If you choose to welcome him as your star sign. Notice, notice I just glossed over his name. You may find that good luck follows you around. You're also a passionate person that may be prone to bouts of jealousy and are certainly not toyed with. So what was it not before then? I guess it must have been this one no that's august so what was it not before all that then i can't remember maybe you guys will be able to tell me so here's the basics telling you how to do it and showing you with little picturegrams and a nice bright colored yarn so that you can see what you're doing and see what they're doing 
and then we have stitch in time so it tells you all of the standard stitches and abbreviations and hooks sizes conversions uk us terms and stuff so there you go what do you think of all of that i think it's pretty good actually um i like the fact that you know sometimes they give you extra books with your as your free gifts and some you know i know they often do things like crochet hooks but i have to say i've never used one of them i did try once and i didn't get on with the hook um so i was thinking uh, somebody did ask me if i would review all of the bella coco hooks and i haven't done it as yet so maybe i'll collect them all together and do that but what i was thinking of doing sometime in the future is when i get an order for hobby rocks um i've been putting in a little um yarn ball stitch marker very very cute yarn ball stitch marker and things like that for free gifts and occasionally um other things um so i might pop them in uh randomly so you never know <laughs> because I've got so many of them and I don't use so I might do that so thank you for watching let me know what you think what did you like what don't you like and um what do you think of Officus? <laughs> tell me all about him I've never heard of it so uh, I've obviously I don't read my own stars or anything like that to know the controversy that he has brought so thanks for watching stay safe take care and I'll see you on the next one bye for now